to my channel, my YouTube family. It has been seven months since I have uploaded. Tragic, I know. All 2,000 oh, crickets of my subscribers have really missed me during those seven months. I'm certain of that. But we're back. I figured today would be a perfect day to welcome you guys back because I have a ton of new arrivals that I want to unbox and show you and I want to show you the process of kind of checking an inventory because you know what the last vlog I believe was me decorating and cleaning out this room prepping for the boutique and the boutique is up and running I have a clothing rack stuffed full of good good clothing items and I have a bunch of new um, I have three boxes and th these are things that I've ordered months ago and they just came in and I have been dying to unbox them but I wanted to do it on a video and kind of share you know some behind the scenes um, I have been back into the gym for the past three weeks so that is feeling really good that's really motivating me it's making me feel energized and healthy and alive and I just want to share that with you and I thought I was supposed to go to the gym today life happens I wasn't able to make it so I was like you know what I'm gonna get home I'm gonna get in my outfit my gym attire that I have this set it's a two-piece set I sell it and it's so good like <laughs> you'll see it later um, it's very compressive it sucks you in it's high waisted so I personally like to wear this like kind of up high so it almost looks like a one piece but if you want to kind of scrunch it down a little bit and show the belly you can totally do that it's very compressive the bra um, is padded it has removable pads so if you want to take them out you can if you want to put them in you can um, there's no front seam so it doesn't do anything funny in this area there is a back seam so it makes the booty look juicy you know it's just it's super good and the set that they come together it's only twenty dollars oh, twenty dollars guys you cannot buy the competitors one or the other like Okay, I love Gymshark. I love Gymshark, but I can only buy their stuff when it is on sale because it's so overly expensive. Great quality, comparable, and you get the set for cheaper than one piece at, at those brands. But Gymshark don't come for me. I love y'all. Y'all got some good stuff, but you know, this is great. So I'm going to do a workout. I have my dumbbells, my mat, my mirror, so I can be, you know, super vain and watch myself. <laughs> and we're gonna go i will link the workout that i'm doing in the description if i can figure that out if not i'll just put what i'm doing so if you want to work out with me at home girl get you some water i'll ship this set to you and you can work out with me <laughs> okay so we're gonna go through that and then once i'm done and hot and sweaty and nasty then we are going to unbox everything and i'm going to show you that um, I really underestimated the intensity of a at home dumbbell only YouTube workout. Holy heck and Bob. I'm toasted. I definitely want to link that workout down in the description for you. Um, it was a shoulder workout and I have five tens and twenties here and I used to be able to press twenties I think I was actually doing 25s last year, this time last year, and I've almost had a year off from the gym, so I am way out of shape, but this shoulder workout, mm, so good. Okay, I don't even remember what I got, to be quite honest. So when you get a package, 
when you when a boutique orders something, we order it wholesale, and then we obviously we add money on top of it, and that's the retail cost. So wholesale product for me is cheaper than what I'm retailing it for, and there's there's like an industry standard on how much you should mark things up, but it's always up to the owner to decide how much they want to mark that up. So do you, they want to include the shipping cost into that markup price? Do they want to include demand on that price? I always have, I have a minimum that I need to mark it up and I try to stick as close to that minimum as possible so I can provide my customers good quality stuff at an affordable rate without I also don't want to gouge and undercut my competitors because I also look up to my competitors and I don't want to be shady in that aspect and there's a lot of boutiques who do that they will find out what another boutique is selling a product for and deliberately undercut thinking they're going to steal someone else's customer that really doesn't happen it's hard to steal someone's customer because if you know me and if you like me and if you like my style, you're going to shop with me, right? I really believe that people buy from people that they can relate to, that they can get along with, that they feel a connection with. And the analogy that I love the most, and I will say this to anybody who wants to start a business, if you go down the bread aisle in a grocery store, it's a whole aisle of bread literally the exact same product sliced bread but there's different brands they market it in a different way they package it in a different way and all of those brands survive so if you can sell bread a whole hour's worth of bread and be successful you can start your business even though somebody else has the same business does that make sense so um if you have a wholesaler's license or a reseller's permit each state is different with their regulations that they require you have basically have a tax id which means you can buy stuff at a wholesale price non-taxed and you can then add tax to that product and resell it so you can't just go to the vendors that i buy from and buy for yourself you can't do that unless you have the legal paperwork to back it up and the cat's trying to come in. Um, so you can't do that on your own, right? You have to be a legitimate boutique to go on these places and buy the stuff. And you buy it. Sometimes the product does not ship immediately because sometimes they don't have it available right away. Some of the stuff that I bought, I bought as soon as it was released and it wasn't actually going to be available to ship until months after I bought it. But obviously you wanna do that so you have the products first before other boutiques get it. And that can be a little hectic because, you know, when you buy something, I feel like everybody wants it right away, but that's just the name of the game. So whenever you order something, there's always a packing slip on the outside. Sometimes it's on the inside. They have already emailed this to me, however. So <clears throat> I normally just compare the two copies and throw one away and I keep the other ones for my paperwork. What a lot of boutiques do that are shady and not legit is they will buy inventory from somebody who buys it from the wholesaler. So say I buy this from the wholesaler, I could then wholesale it myself to somebody else. So if I paid $15 for these shorts, I could sell them for $18 to another boutique who doesn't understand the process. So that boutique buys it for 18, they add their markup on it, and now they have a product that they have to charge more for than somebody who would do it in a legitimate way. Does that make sense? A lot of that happens. And I really just wanna educate the buyers out there because as a consumer, how would you know the difference? Um, so 
I'm thinking if I kind of give you some tips and tricks, it might save some people from being scammed or from getting, you know, product that's misrepresented. It looks different than, it looks different on the picture than what you actually got. Like a ton of that happens. It blew my mind when I started digging deep into the boutique world and seeing how shady these girls can really be. And it's heartbreaking because, you know, I'm here trying to make girls feel good, look good, and just be confident in what they wear. And then you have other people that are just out there for a buck and don't care that you're getting ripped off. That's all it is. Okay. Oh my God, these are so good. Okay. So I did a poll on my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Bad Heifer Boutique. And I said, what are you girls wanting for the summertime? Are you wanting dresses? Are you wanting shorts and tank tops? Are you wanting rompers, jumpsuits? Y'all said dresses and shorts and tank tops. So I was like, bet I got you. Okay, so I found these. Oh, and they come on little hangers. I love how this is packaged. Look at this. Oh, Lord. Ooh, and I like, okay, so I like this. There's not a lot of plastic here. Um, I bet some of the other ones are really, they have a lot of plastic. Like a lot of things come in, individually wrapped. But these, okay, let's see here. Oh, wow. Oh, these are fantastic. So, let me try to get it off of, these little hangers are pretty nifty. I've never ordered from this vendor before. So, oh my word. My arms are so tired right now. Okay, so we got little shorts, elastic. You've got a belt. It's like a, uh, it's attached. Okay, so you bring that around the front of you and tie it. You can cinch it in. We have pockets. And the bottom of it is ruffled. Okay, let me do this so you can get a better idea. Oh, I, and these are like a linen material. O-M-G, you guys. Don't quote me, but I'm fairly certain that these are going to be under $30, I think. Look how cute that is. I mean, can you even? Can you even? Holy moly. I'm pretty sure they're under $30. If they're not, I'm sorry. I ordered this stuff a while ago, like months ago, and it's just now coming in. So, but I'm pretty sure the reason I got these is because they're, they're cheap. So they're coral color. Like, like, even with this tank top, with this uh, sports bra, are you kidding me? Obsessed. Okay, so what I do is um, they send you your invoice. So, obviously, you want to check everything in and make sure that they actually ship what you bought. So, what I bought was mm -mm -mm, six pieces. So you just go through and count that you got six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then you save your invoice, put it with your paperwork, file it for your taxes, and you're good to go. And what you can do as well is, let me bring you back down here. You can do like a quality check. So. You kind of just want to do a once over on everything and make sure there's no threads that are sticking out. Make sure there's no holes or defects because if there is, you know, you can contact the vendor and say, hey, send them a picture and send them your order number and say, you know, this one came with a defect or this is the wrong item. You, you ship the wrong item and they'll, you know, be very kind in helping you figure out your next steps. So that's the first thing. The next thing Okay, so see this box does not have the packing slip on the outside, so it'll either be in the on the inside or some vendors won't send you one at all. They just you have the 
copy that you got in your email once you placed the order. I know what this one is, and this one I'm super excited about. Okay, so let me show you. So, plastic bag. And then each individual one is in plastic. But I do like these bags because... Um, I do like these bags because they zip, so it's, uh, oh my gosh, invoice. It's like a reusable, reusable bag is what I'm saying. Okie dokie. Oh boy. All right. You're going to have to come up for this one because I want to try this on for you to see. Oh my gosh. You guys, my arms are just annihilated. I can't even hold this stupid tripod right now. <laughs> okay. Come on, camera. Be my friend. This. Take it for face value because it's been in a little box shipping forever. So it's wrinkled. But let me just show you. Oh my gosh, this is going to be my favorite, like my most favorite of all time. You guys, are you even kidding me right now? Pockets, it's ba it's like overalls basically. Oh my gosh. Like, what? <laughs> so it has little snaps on the front. So you can snap and unsnap. It is um, adjustable on both straps. Eh, here and there. It has pockets. It has a back zipper right here. And the inseam, I would say, hmm, probably like a 33 inch inseam. How cute is this? It's wide leg. Oh man. I am going to live in this this summer. This is so pretty. This was actually a new vendor as well. <clears throat> like this is the fun part about owning the boutique and then I'll probably be up super late tonight trying to get all of this in my system. And then this weekend I'm going to have to photo shoot all the stuff and then get it uploaded on the website. All right. Whoa. Come back down here. All right. The rest of the stuff I'm not going to try on because I'm already running out of time. So, okay, so you got that, you look at your invoice, you check it, make sure you got everything that you were supposed to get. Which I did. All right, chunk that over. Next. 
This one has a couple different styles in it. Oh, this came in a bag. I've never had that before. Most of the stuff is going to be super affordable. That jumpsuit is going to be a little bit more expensive, but this one it doesn't look like they sent an invoice or a packing slip so I would just compare it to the email that I received for them let me sort out the styles Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, so this is a maxi dress. Oh, my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. I know you can't really see it, but little maxi dress. It's got like a crisscross um, strappy detail in the back. Beautiful flower prints and oh, where's the bottom? It does have a, a uh, slip inside of it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then oh, this one's really soft too. This one is a like a t-shirt dress long and cuff sleeves but wait it has pockets oh that's so cool it has like a slit down both sides oh let me see see what i mean i know it's a little slit down the leg so you'll show some calf and this one's really soft like this is a very buttery material and then oh, I'm probably most excited about this one This one is going to be hard to explain, but it's like a tank top in the front and then a dress in the back. You're just going to have to trust the vision and wait for the pictures. But that is a little sneak peek on some new arrivals. This is going to kind of hold me over for a little while. Um, I have some larger vendor events that I'm going to on May 20th and June 24th, I believe. So definitely watch the Facebook page and my Instagram for information on that. That way you can actually come and feel the products, try them on. I have a portable dressing room that's coming with me, so you can try everything on and you know, it's, it's going to be great. I'm just, I think back to when I was showing you guys like painting this room and talking about starting this boutique. It's been a dream of mine for so long. And now like I've been open and selling stuff, which just, it blows my mind. So 
you know, I'm back to bring you on this journey. And if you're like me and you're just a nosy body, you just want to see what other people are doing. So you can creep on my life and see what I'm doing. That's fine. But yeah, super excited. So I'm probably going to bring you back when I'm planning out the photo shoot because there's a lot that goes into that and I'm not going to be shooting in my studio with this backdrop. I'm going to be shooting out um, in nature. <laughs> I'm going to be in nature and I think that's going to be a really cool um, spring vibe and it's going to be great. But yeah, I'll bring you along for that so you'll see that. And then you'll see these products go live on the website and you can buy them. So if you're interested in anything, let me know what was your favorite piece. Um, let me know if you try the workout. I'll leave that in the link in the description as well. So I want to like know how you feel after doing that workout. I'm not going to be able to raise my arms tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to survive. But yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.